So does Vegemite conduct electricity? So what we start with is your normal household Vegemite that I just got from my own kitchen. And what we do in it in order to make it a little bit better processable, we'll put it in a household syringe. And what we're going to do is we are going to complete a circuit where we have an LED. So I come in, complete the circuit between the LED and the battery and the, it lights up. So the reason why Vegemite conducts electricity because it has ions in there and it has water. So what about printing Vegemite? Of course, if you put Vegemite on your bread in the morning, you're spreading it. And it's that exact spreading of Vegemite that gives it the characteristics that allows us to print it. So we load it up in our syringe, put it in a custom built printer at the University of Wollongong, and that allows us to print our logo. So now let's speed up this video a little bit and we'll come back at the end of the print. Now the big question, does it still conduct when you put it on bread? And here what you've seen, we've completed a circuit, we put an LED in it, and if I put the electricity on and off, you'll see that the LED lights up. So even on bread, we can put electricity through our Vegemite. So the big question is, can we eat it? And the answer is yes. I just unhook all the electronic bits and I pick up my normal piece of bread and have a bit of a munch in it. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty tasty, just like you would eat in the morning. So this shows we can 3D print Vegemite electronics and use it to power LEDs.